Okay, I got home just in time. Jessica is going to sample. She's gonna sample the vegan steak. <laughs> What's so funny? Yeah? Do you think it's good? Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's lots of flavor. Were it's you... like a chewier steak if you're like gonna compare it to a steak. It's um it's good. It tastes good. It satisfies a meat like craving, I guess. Mm. Not that I crave meat very often, but So I put in our story yesterday on Instagram. If you guys are not following us on Instagram, I had a trap called Owens. But I put on in one of our stories that um, we were making vegan steak and I had a whole bunch of people messaging asking what it's made out of. What should I tell these people? What's in it? Well, it's called seitan, but it's vital wheat gluten, which is like a flour texture. Um, so you start with the flour and then you add like your flavorings and a liquid and you knead it almost like you would a bread. Um, and then you form it into whatever shapes you want and then you have to steam it. And then you can saute it. You can put it on the barbecue. What kind of seasonings did you use? Onion, garlic, liquid smoke. We used steak seasonings. Um, we used bell peppers, mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, mm -hmm. tofu. So you blend that all together to make a liquid. Everything went in the blender to make a liquid. There was olive oil and a little bit of water. Uh, celery. Um, I think you can pretty much add your own ingredients, but you want a little bit of everything. And then the flavorings are to what you're going to make it to. We use just the regular one to make the chicken, mock chicken one. And then to make the steak, I just added some smoke seasoning and some steak seasoning and barbecue sauce. And you, you guys didn't, you followed the recipe, but altered it? Altered it to what we wanted, yeah. Yes, I will link the video to the, the recipe that my parents followed to make it and you guys should try making it because it's actually amazing. Just as we are about to move, they start building a new park across the street. Ah, not impressed. So yesterday my mom and I went out shopping. Irene needed some new clothes for the season. She needed a coat, some snow pants, and whenever I go shopping for Irie, I always try to shop secondhand first. There's just so many clothes that already exist in the world, and it's a great way to reuse them instead of wastefully buying more new clothes. Especially for kids, they grow out of them so quickly, so to buy new clothes just doesn't make sense at all. So we went to Once Upon a Child, and we found almost everything that we needed. We didn't find a coat or snow pants, so in that case, I just buy new, and I don't feel so bad about it because I tried to buy secondhand first. Next time you need to go shopping for your little ones, or even yourself, I would definitely try secondhand first. You might be surprised at what you can actually find. A lot of the clothes are in great shape. Sometimes they're brand new with tags on, and it's kind of fun because you're searching for different items and sometimes they're items that you might not see in your regular stores that you usually go to. Okay, you gotta back up so we can see you. Oh, turn around. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Say hello everyone. Mom and dad, day out on the town. We're back in Toronto. Yes. Have our bikes again. Just love riding bikes in this city. So much fun. And uh, Ivory is with her grandparents for the day. Her grandmother, grandfather, your papa. Yeah, we're gonna explore. We're gonna check out the vintage stores today. I'm gonna get some food as always. Gotta get that Toronto vegan restaurant scene food. Love that. And um, yeah, we're gonna have lots of fun. So back in Toronto. Let's go.
plants a burger. We've been here before two years ago now. Definitely a good spot if you're in Toronto, hit up Plants a Burger, really, really good. As well as their other restaurants. Um, it's not a chain, but they have different uh, different restaurants with different themes, but same ownership all under Planta. There's actually one right next door in the background. And yeah, it's one of our go-tos when we're in the city. I had the Kentucky burger, which is kind of like a fried chicken burger, and... I had the Bon Me burger, which, as you can guess, is kind of like a Bon Me. <laughs> what do you rate it out of 10? Uh, Planta burger is... Yeah, I'd give it a 10. A 10? Well, that like, means you can't, there's nothing better in the entire world. No room for improvement. Well, like for what it is, burger and fries, fast casual place. I'd say 10, yeah, they've got it. Me personally, I give Plants of Burger probably a 7.5 out of 10. Wow. Yeah, I mean, 10 is perfect. I mean, there's always room for improvement in my opinion. Yeah, seven and nine. It's very good. It's very tough to get a ten in my book, or even like a nine. What other, what other like grab and go burger and fry place would you say is better than the burger that you've been to? Uh, the place in London. I don't know the name, but it had like the fried chicken burger. <laughs> Just waiting on Jess, more vintage, more vintage shops at the moment. Just browsing when you're not looking for something specific that's usually when you're more successful at those types of stores. And we each got a couple of things today, so I think it's been a pretty successful run.